physically dangerous. Yep. But he has a tough opponent tonight as well. So Anthony, once again, ladies and gentlemen, is the wild thing out of uh, the Goose Town. That's Anaconda. And uh, I've seen uh, Anthony fight. He's a really, he's a tough kid. He's, he's a scrapper and he, he's got a good gas tank, I think. And uh, Good cardio, good yeah. sportsmanship. And he likes to mix it up. He's, he's not afraid to get in there and really get after it, you know. It should be an exciting fight for he's sure. He's got some good technique. I like his, uh, his progression, he's been fighting for a while and he's had a few uh, setbacks, but he's kept in there, he hasn't given up, so we're really... Uh, he's only getting better and better. Yeah, he's only uh, improving. It'll be interesting to see if uh, Shea O'Neill, though, wants to use his you know, wrestling background to win the fight, or you know what, maybe try to keep his stand. He's been working on his hands a lot, coming very quick, very good at combos with his hands. So let's see, you know, if he gets in trouble, though, he always has his wrestling to back up on. Yeah. But you know what, Anthony Curtis, you know Shea, I know he's he's been training really hard for this fight. Yeah, I, I'm sure you've seen him in the gym quite a bit, so uh, you kind of know what's going on from that end. All right, ladies and gentlemen, Shea Banana Peel O'Neal. This kid just loves to fight, doesn't he? Oh, absolutely. I mean, he holds, you know, three different belts at 135 and 145. Yeah, and he's a good high school wrestler. He's a, he enters a lot of jiu-jitsu tournaments. So, yeah, he's a, he's a tough kid. But like any uh, MMA bout, you can't count anybody out. Absolutely, you never know what's gonna happen in this sport. I think this, I've been looking forward to this fight all night. This is gonna be one of the better fights of the night, I think, I hope. These guys both have a lot of experience. They both have a good, solid heart. And just two very electric guys to watch yeah, fight. Yeah, and they got a good chin. I like their chins. Both these guys got really good chins. So once again, uh, Shea's out of Bozeman, training with the Montana MMA, and Anthony, his opponent, is out of Goose Town a Anaconda Training Center. I like Shea, Shea's a humble kid. Uh, always top class athlete, you know, very humble guy, very yep. humble fighter. Uh, always shows good respect to his opponents. Same with Anthony Curtis, you know. Yeah. For a sport that involves fighting, it's good to see. Yes, it is. All right, here we go, Mark. Both fighters touching glove. I'll get this exciting fight started. Yep, this is fight number six of the night, a butte brawl, ladies and gentlemen. Anthony Curtis in the gray, Shea O'Neal in the red. So yeah. we'll get this fight underway. Yeah, once again, Langdon is uh, refereeing. Well, kind of feeling it out a little bit. Nice uh, outside leg kick by Shea. Very quick. Yeah, 
fact that he's kind of reaching down for that leg kick, he better be careful. We don't want to get, he doesn't want to take a face kick. Absolutely. He's dropping his hand every time Shea kicks to the leg there. Let's see if Shea capitalizes on that. Wolfhard kind of pulling each other out. Shea doing really well with that leg kick. There looking, it is, there goes the takedown. Looking for his takedown. He's got a deep crotch there. Looks like he's going to get a single leg going. Oh, maybe not. All right, let's go. Gets out of his clinch. Yeah, nice, uh, nice reversal there, there by yeah, Anthony. Very that good, was good defense for Anthony. Yeah, good defense. Usually you see a few more knees when they get up against the cage there. These guys like to use their knees. That was a good right roundhouse by Anthony. Didn't do much damage, but it was he was trying. She going back into the takedown. Good sprawl by Anthony, uh, but Shea's got him up against the cage there. This is where he loves to get his Absolutely. takedowns. Shea taking him down. Let's yeah, see what he can work here. Slipped him down the uh, the cage there. Uh, Anthony's looking to get some kind of a guillotine, maybe. Nope. This is a Shea's very good shoulder strikes. Let me tell you, you being shoulder striked up on the cage like that, very painful. Oh, Shea, Anthony's uh, giving up his back. This is a dangerous situation uh, against like uh, Shea. In. A rear naked from Shea. Can't tell it's actually connected. Flattening him out very well. Anthony's fighting that choke pretty good, but. Uh, Anthony's to be careful. Make sure he's not reaching back with Shea's yeah, on his back. There's a lot of time left in the round, Mark, so it's a tough situation for Anthony right now. But Shea's doing what he knows to do. He's got him uh, locked out, trying to flatten him out. I think he's doing really well at not letting Shea flatten him out. Yeah, and he's also defending it. Those punches a little bit, but boy, there's a couple good oh, ones in there. He's got to be careful there, yeah. Big. He got off his back, though. Let me tell you, with a guy like Shea O'Neal, you do not want the banana peel on your back. No, you don't. And the Curtis trying to break his posture, but Shea, very strong. Those, he has those wrestler hips, you know, extremely dangerous. Yeah, looks like he's got a leg triangle. Well, he had a leg triangle. Now he's working on that choke again. Curtis flattened out. Uh, getting a few strikes in there on the edge, but uh, actually Anthony's defending really good. Absolutely, looks like Shea has some kind of choke in. Yeah, this might be a tough one here. We got about two minutes left of the match, ladies and gentlemen. He's got a good body, oh, oh there's the tap. Yeah, he had a good body triangle and he got that choke in. And Very hard to breathe. Well, that was a tough fight for Anthony, but he rose to the occasion and he fought it out. But uh, once again, Shea's little superior uh, grappling uh, paved the way for him here. We see, ladies and gentlemen, a good replay where he got that choke in underneath the chin. Good hooks. Looks for a leg triangle there on his body. Triangle. And once you kind of get that leg trap in, you kind of suck the rest of the oxygen they have stored yeah. back in there. Yeah, not only is he losing his oxygen from the leg triangle, but he's also getting choked out in the blood. Yeah, it's a it's did not a, a good position to be in when you're in that position. But uh, did a real job defending it. I mean, Shea had that he in did once for a earlier. Long time. Yeah. And you know, defended it well. Got to give him credit for that. Looks like Shea kind of came back with it, threw in a, a body trap that time. Finished. No, it Anthony, you're right. Yeah.